Alright, hopefully this is the last video here. Just wanted to confirm that yes, because I was so stressed out yesterday, I did not get very much sleep. It's kind of like that one day, last week, Wednesday. So no surprise there. I'm not e I'm not even sure how much sleep I got. Um I think I'd be lucky to say if I got like 5 hours or 6 hours. Maybe around that. All right. Um uh, so one thing I noticed I wanted to confirm or to say that there was one mistake that I made. Uh, everything else I said that happened was true, but I, because uh, when I first became a member, I didn't remember the uh, correct amount that I paid to become a member, so I don't want to come across as lying or exaggerating the amount that it was. So I, I guess I was just thinking it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot, but it wasn't as much as I said it was. It, it still seems like a lot just for to be a member. I don't know how much it costs to be members of other co-ops or other, like, uh, there's some other business, I think it's called Sam's Club. Like other, I don't know how much it costs to be members of other businesses. So I don't know what else to compare it to. But for me, it seems like a lot of money to commit, especially for for me, because I'm not some, I don't have some amazing job. So this is this is a big deal for me to put our to put up this amount of money. That's why I was so reluctant to do it for years and years after being asked if I was a member and people trying to talk the people that worked at this co-op trying to talk me into becoming a member or trying to encourage me so I was so reluctant to do it because I didn't it didn't make sense to pay this large fee just to become a member where you get discounts when you order cases of things which I wasn't sure that I would want to order cases of things so for me all I was thinking was, yeah, it was a lot. And I still believe it's the total that I gave was uh, not the correct total and larger than it, it was. But even the, the total that it actually was, it's still way more than it should be, in my opinion. Why, why should you have to pay that much just so you can get 15% uh, a 15% discount on cases of things. That's all you get. Okay, so here's the the receipt that I found. Um, I thought it was in my file cabinet, but it was easy to find because it was on my bullet board. Um, let's see if it shows up. So there it is. $125. $125. You can see it says on here, member equity payment. So that, that's how much it costs to become a member at this co-op. That is, uh, for me, that's, that's a lot of money to just put up to pay all at one time, this big chunk of money, just to get 15% off on uh, cases of things. And that it doesn't even count, like there's some things that it doesn't even apply to. So there that is. Um, and then I, I guess the other thing was, uh, 
I was thinking, well, it, just in case this this co-op has any issues with me putting the um, the photos of their business uh, as thumbnails for these videos, um, I was thinking that I would try to uh, block out the name of their business in the photos, so then there's nothing. There's nothing to, yeah, it's the image of their business, but it's the name of their business isn't on there. So most of the people in the world, unless you actually live in the town I'm living in or in the area, you're not going to know the name of the business. All you're going to know is that it's a co-op grocery store and the, uh, experience that I went through with this business, the employees from this business, how this business treated me, and just my feelings on how they ran their business. Okay, so, um, so here's another positive that I got out of this very negative experience with this business some more experience with uh, the YouTube uh, process dealing with uh, photos, thumbnails. Um, I figured out how to um, if there's if I take a photo and like so if there's an accidental image like of a person that I don't want to have in the in, in the in the photo or uh, anything else. I I know how to just block that part of it out. So at first I I, I was um, uh, I went I went into uh, on my laptop. Uh, there's this thing that says. Uh, I guess just this part that says edit and then I saw where it says um, first I tried to I went into this one thing that that said it was supposed to like uh, like censor it like to cut out part of it and it, it kind of blurred some of it but you could still see some of the the name and then, so then I went into this other thing that said draw and uh, so it was like I think it said 3D paint or or it was just maybe this other part that said I, there were a couple different uh, ways of doing it but this first thing I used it was just like uh, using the the like mouse pad thing on my laptop like going like that and just kind of drawing over the name of the business that in black and, and then I saw this other thing that uh, it said, like I was using this one thing that said, I guess it was like, first I was using a, a thing that said marker, and then I was using a thing that said pencil. So I tried a, a few different things and, in black. And then I, there's this other one that said calligraphy. So that was the one I, I stuck to. And at first I was thinking black would be the best way to block out the name of the business, but then, um, when I went to calligraphy, it was automatically on white. So, but then, then when I did white, it was just like erasing it, what was on the, on the, the photo. So I thought that was better, but rather than just using black over the, the image on the photo, using white seems like a better way because you're just erasing it out of existence. So that was... That was neat to be able to figure out how to do that. So just in case I ever find the need to edit edit uh, um, a photo for uh, thumbnails for YouTube, I know how to do it. I know how to just go in there and erase it. So it's pretty neat. I guess that's it. Um, hopefully I have nothing else to say about this because I'm tired of talking about it.
tired of talking about things that are stressing me out. I would much rather be in a good mood rather than be annoyed by things and stressed out by things. <sighs> so now I just, like, I'm really tired and this is the time when I prefer to be reading a little bit before I have breakfast. But I have all these videos on here that I haven't rewatched yet and entitled that um, I want to put up on YouTube to conclude this very stressful experience and put closure on it so I can be done with it and not have to, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to, it's kind of hard not to think about it anymore because it's pretty significant for me, but I, I don't, I, I want to just be done with it. Uh, was that it? Was that all I was going to say? I guess that was it. I feel like there's something else I was going to say. Ugh. Well, I guess it wasn't important. Kind of hard to think and remember things when you're tired. Ugh. All right, I guess that's it. Ugh, I'm so tired. <laughs>